Hello, hello, everybody. How are you guys doing? Oh, my face thrashing is being stupid, isn't it? Anyway, today we are going to be working on some art, which I've already got lined up and everything. Um, I just It's just a matter of getting it all colored up, and then that'll be it. No shading on this piece, uh, just, just some good old-fashioned color. Just getting some base colors in here. Ooh, a little too much base. We'll focus on the wolf guy for right now. Yeah, there we go. So I'm just going to start coloring with the, the main character here, and then we'll work on the car in a bit. There we go. All right, so let's get this color down first. Got a nice tannish color. Just a good old hard, hard round brush. Nothing fancy, just blocking in the color. Uh, let's see, we also have this brownish color. I also, I might go in and also color in the line art once we, we got all the base colors in here. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do that or not, though. But sometimes it adds like a nice little, a nice extra touch to stuff. I guess I can't forget the scar. I know it looks really messy right now, but it's just, it's just kind of how my flow of things goes. I just block out the color and then I just make it look all pretty. A lot of a lot of ways to make colors like work on a character are just matching the curvature of their face or their their body or you know just how their body's moving. Let's get that. See this curves down. I think that's that pretty much all good to go. I'm just gonna clean up those little cheeks right here. I'm gonna grab the nose color Plop that down right there. A little bit right here for the, I guess the gums. Uh, where's this eye color? Right over here. I'm just gonna plop down just the uh, basic orange for now, and then I'll add in all the extra colors later. He's got like a darker I don't know, brown, I guess, up in the top here. And it kind of comes down behind the head like that. All right, so now, let's see, the brown markings kind of come down onto the neck always nice when like you have line art to make your color flow. That's the base of the head. I'm also going to grab, let's see it's a it's like a kind of like a nice light blue-ish color. Shirt's really easy it's just one solid color. I mean we've got like little buttons and everything that I'll make a different shade of the same color but pretty easy. Okay now we have the arm which is uh, that tan color. Let's see. Okay, so it looks like there's like white underneath the arm all the way through, so maybe. I don't know, I can see uh, how I feel about it later once we get the rest of the colors blocked in. Uh, speaking of, we have the other arm to do. Uh, the pants. Uh, the pants are like a brown color. There we go. All right, so that's that character colors blocked out. Yeah, let's just block out everything all at once here. What color is his car? It's like a like a pretty neutral gray. Beige on top. Okay, and then we have an even darker, like more pure gray for the middle console, it looks like. And like also maybe a slightly darker grayish beige for the door. I think that's about right. Okay, so now I'm just gonna block in some other colors. The steering wheel is slightly lighter than the dashboard. A little darker than the side. Okay, I think that's like the roughly the colors of the car. I'm gonna get my hard brush again. I re color those hard lines in here. And last little piece, we have this character on the dashboard. I guess I can go ahead and just like color this guy in because he's he's good. He's really easy. There we go. Flesh is done, but you know that's easy. Okay. Now we got this face. Uh, I'm also gonna flip the canvas really quick. Just because it's easier for me to draw faces, or like color or do anything on the face when they're facing towards my left. Like I can draw a face going the other way. It just takes more effort for some reason. Let's see, the trick is gonna be with this marking because like it's so sharp. You don't wanna like fluff it out too much. I wanna keep like nice sharp edges, but also wanna make it look fluffy and not just like it's painted on there. 
I don't know, sometimes like markings are really hard to kind of blend in with the same coloring style as everything else. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and do the eye colors now. Let me get, since we use the base color, I'm gonna do the outside of the eye color first. I think that's good there. And then I'm gonna grab the lighter color for like the, there's like little lines in your eyes. I like to make those like a lighter color than everything else. Uh, this character's eyes also glow. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the glow color and just gonna put like a line around the pupil here. Let's see, now I just need to find a good level of blur. There we go. I think that's like most of the face taken care of. Okay, so that's the head all done, so now it's just the neck. Which we got some weird stuff going on over here. Alright, we're looking good so far. Making good progress. Alright, so there's our shirt. Uh, I'm going to make the cuffs. Do I want to make them lighter or darker? I think I want to make them a little bit lighter. And then the buttons I'm going to make a bit darker. We got the shirt pretty much squared away. I think that's good. Okay. Um, perfect. I think that's the character. Pretty much all done up. And now I'm gonna work on the car. Background. I still don't know what I want for the background. Like, the background's gonna be transparent in the end. But it's just like, while I'm drawing, I don't know what I want it to look like. I'm just kind of winging it. I'm not great at doing car things. Like, I can obviously draw the car. It just takes me a very long time to do it, and it takes me a lot of thinking and a lot of reference pictures. Shade a little bit right here, too. But it's not supposed to be shaded at all, but like it just it looks wrong when it's not shaded. I'm doing too much work for this, but whatever. I want it to look good, so. Okay, that's pretty much all the roof area is done now. So I think we just need to do the dashboard. Or whatever you call it. Is it the dashboard? Yeah, it's the dashboard. I don't know. I mean, like, the top part. Like, I always imagine the top part here is the dashboard. I don't know about all the buttony thingies. I don't know if that's, like, also the dashboard or if that's something else. Dashboard. That looks pretty good for the dashboard here. Uh, see, I need the middle console. Alright, so it's, like, gray and then black. Okay. And then we've got stuff over here and over here. There's so much detail on these buttons. Okay, this is coming together pretty well. I'm gonna flip sides and I'm going to work on this like a uh, recessed area up here. But it's going to be a fair bit darker than all of this stuff. Although I guess I don't have to draw every number. Just I don't know. Just gotta roughly approximate it out. Sometimes you don't need to be super detailed. You just gotta make it look like there's something there and then people's eyes will be like, Oh yeah, it's, this is what that's supposed to be. Oh my gosh, my hand needs to stretch. Okay, hold on. I need to stretch my hand out here real quick. I got... Ooh, it's cramped up. Drawing all those like little tiny details just really takes it out of my hand. Alright, I'm just gonna massage it for a second. Uh, then I'm gonna tackle the like wheel and the thing attached to the wheel. I guess that attaches the wheel to the dashboard. I don't know. I don't know cars. I really, <laughs> I really make this stuff more complicated than it needs to be. I was only paid to do a flat color piece, but I'm here shading away. Not much shading, at least. I'm not doing full out shading, but definitely more than I was uh, intended to do. All because it just it makes everything blend together better. Uh, I've just been chugging away at this car like crazy. My hand hurts. <laughs> I've only been going for what it's always been uh, an hour and forty five minutes. But oh my god, my hand! Okay, there we go. Got that. Um, so now I think we just need like the back of the car here, like the. Uh, or I guess the, yeah, the door and then the seat area. Okay, uh, chair. Do I need to get my hard brush again? I didn't quite finish the coloring on the chair here. There we go. Well, lots of little dots. I think that, I don't know, it kind of gives the illusion of texture of something. Okay, uh, and then 
for the character. I'm just going to do basic gradient stuff here, gradient shading, I guess. Uh, just to kind of give the illusion that his legs are going off into the bottom. I'm going to keep roughly along my line art here. I am perfect, but it doesn't need to be perfect. Stop shading. I mean, this isn't really... This is what I, like, normally do. This is my normal shading. What I was doing with the car was definitely too much. Uh, but this is, like, what I normally do, like, on flat color pieces. It's not... I don't know. Like, I guess it is technically shading, but it's still just not really. I definitely went overboard uh, with the shading, like... Okay, let me just go on to a different layer here. Like, in this area. Um, the rest of the car is not too bad. I just, I definitely went overboard here. I just kind of got into it. Uh, then the background is supposed to be just transparent because, uh, you know, it's going to be like he's driving. You know, I mean, you can put like different pictures back here, like, uh, <gasps> boing, oh, wow. Oh, oh, I got off the screen. I need to zoom out. <gasps> boing, oh. <laughs> Why is it so fun? I love it. Okay, I need to stop playing with this. This is done. I'm done with it. Uh, I just need to throw my art thingy somewhere. Um, you know, if people don't look too carefully, they're going to just not edit it out. And then, like, if they steal my art, I'm like, haha, but look, my signature. This is not even a signature. It's a watermark. Like, you know, you see there's something here, but you don't recognize it as, like, a watermark. You're like, oh, it's just, it's just, a, it's just a symbol over there. I'm smart.